I'm Ashley. My name's Bonnie. I like clean things and I'm constantly trying to figure out how I can just dress the most and buy things that are I know are going to last a long time. I'm super, I'm like super uncomfortable to overdress or also just because I never do. I think like, you know, people like point it out you're like, Something about 100%. stretching where you're at, mm -hmm. and then someone call it like, like acknowledging yeah. it, whether they're making fun of you yeah. or or actually just genuinely complimenting yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It feels vulnerable. Yeah, like totally. you can see. I have no idea, and I'm so uncomfortable with this like kind of sexy word. Like I'm like mm. I have no idea, and I'm like. I'm like so not comfortable so in that ah, whole yeah. world. In that whole world. And like, I've always thought that's so interesting that we tell people like so wrong, so wrong, so wrong. Now you have to be this way. Middle school for me, towards the end, especially like towards like the grade nine kind of year, I was I was pretty like self conscious, and that kind of went away. I still think about it. And I think about how it's kind of too bad. Interesting that you say grade nine. Like that it's that really age mm -hmm. has yeah. come up a few times. Oh, yeah. Like oh, yeah. something yeah. happens. That's an age oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. In that shift of like whatever's happening and what it, what age is that? 13, 13 14? 14? Yeah. Like yeah. something's going on where girls are starting to identify themselves yeah. differently. Mm -hmm. Definitely like very, um, I don't know if like maybe tomboy ish, but more like I was like full on like, I loved to be like one of the guys for sure, always. I feel like as an adult, I think like my mom, thinking back like when I was a kid, my mom was like, super sporty like she, i think we like didn't have a bottle of nail polish in our house ever kind of like finding that part of me um like later i feel like and being like comfortable with it my mom always has been very into makeup like she she's always been um like selling things like those pyramid scheme things so she sold like mary Kay when i was younger mm -hmm. so it's always a new kind of like lip liner, the lip liners, and um, <laughs> Ooh, on the deck yeah, eyeshadows, oh, yeah. and yeah. all of that. Um, when I turned 13, school photos, my good friend, I had a sleepover at her house the night before, and she like put lip gloss on, and like eyeliner, and I remember that was like the first time I went to school with like a fully done face, and it was again like this insecure, like, like, oh, this feels weird. I've never really loved wearing makeup, but I oh, I just have a very basic, like, I, I do need to wear some sort of foundation and mascara. Mm -hmm. I can't even go grocery shopping without wearing foundation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I had, I also had bad skin growing up. I had acne, so, okay. yeah. That was always a big insecurity. lucky to feel like pretty comfortable in my skin. I would say like my insecurities come in more like my actions actually. Some days I'm kind of the opposite. Some days I do mm -hmm. and some moments I do but for the most part I'm like I'm a pretty insecure person. I feel like it definitely goes back to those those years like those early grade nine years. One word for beauty. One word. I would say confidence. It's like authenticity.